Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today I've got my new series called Pups and PCs. Now that's just a joke there. Those are my two little puppies. They're standing in front of my new Origin PC gaming and recording desktop. Now I love the wooden crate that Origin PC sends their systems in. It's rugged, it's durable, it's awesome opening it up. I'm always tempted to use a crowbar half-life style and just bash it open, but it's actually designed so that you can take it apart pretty easily with a power screwdriver, a normal screwdriver, or a drill. Now for those of you not familiar with the Origin PC company, they specialize in high-performance PCs, focusing on the gaming world and high-performance performance applications like video editing. Fortunately, that is exactly what I'm into, so Origin PC and me are a great match. I've been sponsored by them for a couple years now, and they build me a custom PC pretty much on a yearly basis now, and I can get it built to whatever specifications I want. So when you see what components I chose to have installed in this PC, you'll kind of get an idea for what I prefer for gaming and working, what I choose for performance and reliability. Now this is just a little parts box. It's got the operating system on a USB drive. It's got all the power cables I could need for doing expansion within the case, um, and just all the manuals and technical parts that you need in addition to the PC itself. Now, if you saw my last Origin PC unboxing, you'll know I went for the white case design, but this time around, I went for an all black look, which looks really cool actually, especially when there's, it's sitting next to its white brother. I also really like that Origin PC has quite literally a sheath for their computer. Origin's custom case design allows you to take off both side panels simply by lifting up a little lever in the back of the computer. No screws necessary, although you can screw in the side panels if you would like just to make sure that they can't be taken off easily. And then Origin always puts some foam packaging inside the case to make sure that nothing moves around, shifts, or breaks during shipping. Now you might be looking at this, well, where's the liquid cooling system? Where's your SLI setup? Don't you have like quad SLI and all this crazy stuff installed in a PC? Well, you can go for a fancy look if you want, but this is a real computer. This is for getting work done and it's for performing reliably. Now, the first thing you notice here is this kind of crazy CPU cooling fan that I have on top here. It's got a lot of copper, a lot of um, heat pipes to get rid of that heat quickly. What I like about this heat sink is that I can turn the fan speed to extremely low and it makes very, very little noise while keeping my CPU actually cooler than a stock fan would. I don't like to overclock my systems in any way whatsoever, even though Origin PC will do the overclocking for you and their warranty covers it. I personally just prefer to have that sort of peace of mind knowledge that my system is going to be as stable as it possibly can be. I don't need a 5 to 10% performance boost if it's going to lose me one single file or corrupt one single video uh, in the long run. It just won't be worth it for me. Now that being said, Origin PC still uses top of the line components that are fully capable of overclocking. So if I want to at any point, I can go into the BIOS and set my clock speeds if I would like to. I've got 32 gigs of Origin PC DDR4 powered by Kingston. This is 2,666 megahertz RAM. And next to it under that beautiful CPU cooler is the Intel Core i7-6700K quad core. This is a Skylake CPU. It's extremely fast, the fastest CPU on the market for gaming right now. Focusing on the GPU, you'll notice that I have a single EVGA GeForce Titan X. This is the fastest single card you can buy on the market right now. As I mentioned before, I don't like to use SLI systems because it causes a frame stuttering issue with a lot of games and it's just a headache that I don't want to have to deal with. Uh, as far as EVGA goes, both the motherboard and GPO are EVGA brand. I love that company. I've been using EVGA GPUs for as long as I can remember. This is the first time I've gamed on a Titan X video card and it looks beautiful. At 1440p resolution, the 12 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory just absolutely obliterate games. It's awesome and a huge upgrade from the 9800 GTX that I it was using before. The motherboard is an EVGA Z170 classified standard. ATX motherboard. It's got plenty of PCI slots open in there and I will be using them. I usually use a separate sound card and I'm also going to be adding in a 10 gigabyte network card to do some drive virtualization with some complicated recording setups. It's also got an on motherboard CPU temperature readout which is kind of a cool feature and definitely makes this board look like it's from the future. It's got more USB ports than you can think about. It's got a creative sound card built in and we've even got two 
Ethernet ports on there in case you want to get crazy with your networking. And uh, there are actually purposes for this. The Titan X has three display ports, HDMI and DVI. So you've pretty much got any connection you could need. Powering this beast, we've got an EVGA 850 watt power supply unit. It's gold rated. It's got modular cabling that all goes out the back of the computer. It's energy efficient and very quiet as well, which is something that's actually very important to me as someone who does voiceovers constantly. And as always, Origin routes their cables nicely on the back panel of the PC so it's not cluttering up the front look of the computer or it's not obstructing the airflow through the PC, keeping your PC nice and cool. So all the cabling is done on the back through this custom Origin PC case and that's something that I always appreciate about Origin PC. On the front, we've got an LG Blu-ray reader and DVD writer, just in case. Now for the hard drives, we have a single one terabyte solid state Samsung Evo drive. This one is a very fast, reliable drive. I like it. I have it in my other computers and I have a lot of other hard drives that I'm actually going to be adding to this PC. I didn't request extra hard drives because I've already got the ones that I need. So I'm just going to plug them in when I'm ready to do my work. Now, how about the game performance? Let's see how this PC performs in a real life scenario while recording at the exact same time. I'm playing at 14. 1440p resolution on Battlefield 4. I've got a mixture of high and medium graphics, and I even turned on post-processing anti-aliasing to refine the edges in this game even further. And I have to say the visuals are just gorgeous. You can see the frame rate counter in the top left there. I'm getting uh, over 180, even over 200 at certain times, depending on the map that I'm playing at. Uh, I basically just tweaked the graphic settings so that even in the most intense situations, I wouldn't really drop much below 140, because I'm trying to hit 144 frames consistently on my 144 hertz refresh rate monitor. So that's just something that I kind of shoot for as a gold standard and because I can do it in Battlefield 4, I will. Without question, the performance on this PC is significantly higher than my previous Origin PC, which is still a great PC. In fact, some of you guys might remember that I had an i7 5960X, which is still a thousand dollar CPU. It's an octa-core. It's incredibly fast for rendering in work applications, but not quite as fast for gaming. So this PC here with the i7-6700K is built specifically for gaming, and it will be significantly faster for gaming, and the Titan X just blows the frame rate out of the water in these high performance games at 1440p resolution. Everything just looks amazing. I could not be happier with the performance. I mean, sure, there's some poorly optimized games like Rainbow Six Siege that still won't go above 100 FPS, which is still like comical to me. But uh, someday we'll get that game running well. And the properly optimized games like Battlefield 4 are just absolutely wrecking the frame rate here. You'll see on Caspian Border, it's not quite as high as it was on the infantry combat mode, but I'm still getting mostly over 140 frames per second. So it's pretty darn good, all things considered. Again, 1440p resolution, a lot of the visuals on high or medium settings. Now I mentioned how I was gonna add a 10 gigabyte ethernet card to this computer. Um, I'm gonna be adding that to also my other Origin PC with the OctaCore. And what I'll do is I will record directly from this PC onto the other Origin PC where I can have it transcode instantaneously while I'm gaming and uh, basically turn my files into smaller files to work with so I can store up a lot of footage, work with it, email it to people, all that kind of stuff. And so I can have the best of both worlds. I can create a PC which is this, which is perfect for gaming, the fastest you can get for gaming. And then I can have my other PC with the OctaCore, which is going to be the absolute fastest for rendering and working. So the goal is to have the best of both worlds here. And I'll let you know when I get that actually set up and running and if it actually works. I think it'll work. I've actually never messed around with 10 gigabyte ethernet cards before, but it sounds pretty cool to me. Anyway, Anyway, that pretty much wraps it up for my Origin PC unboxing and review. I can't recommend this company enough. I love them. Again, it's high-end performance PCs, so if you're looking for something uh, on a very low budget, it might not be the company to go with, but if you're looking for something that's absolutely going to make your PC gaming look phenomenal, then they are certainly a company to consider. If you want to check out their website, they are linked in the video description. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap signing off.